Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best smart robot vacuum cleaners. Starting at number 5. Samsung JetBot. Samsung's JetBot's unusual, square fronted shape gives it a few problems in tight corners because it can't turn on its axis quite so nimbly. But it gives it the edge when marching along in straight lines and along borders. Until its replacement, the bespoke JetBot, comes out later this year, it's one of the most advanced robot VACs around. It's taller than other robot VACs due to the LiDAR turret that rises from the top to scan its environment. It's supposed to be able to recognize obstacles as small as one centimeter high and report back to you what it's found. We put that to the test by placing cups of water, socks and a dog bowl in its path, all of which it spotted and avoided, but it blithely trundled over wires and dragged them around. You can increase the sensitivity, but then it gets scared of large bits of fluff. After about an hour it returned to its docking station, like a TIE fighter to the Death Star, and the dirt was sucked out of it with a powerful 10-second whoosh. The replaceable dirt bag is about the size of a carton of orange juice, takes about a month to fill and has an extremely good HEPA filter. Like the Roomba the Samsung can be ordered to clean the whole house, specific rooms, or specific areas either by voice command, it talks back, or through Samsung's SmartThings app. Downloading the app takes about half an hour and involves lots of fiddly passwords, but does unlock home monitoring, where you can tell the jet bot to go to any room so you can have a look through its camera eye. Coming at number 4. Miele Scout RX3. German appliance maker Miele's RX3 is almost the same price as the Roomba despite being unable empty itself, but are pluses. It has a much smaller, less obtrusive base station its twin cameras look like cute eyes, which can't be an accident. It's also much simpler to use, with no real need to download the app, the remote control lets you choose between zigzag auto clean, spot clean or a quick dust and also lets you take manual control, telling it to go forward, back, left or right. Although if you're standing there doing that, why not just do the hoovering yourself? If you do use the app, it lets you see your home through the scout's eyes, a plausible alternative to a home security camera as long as you don't mind seeing everything from ankle height. As with the remote, you can take control of the scout, which is a lot of fun. Although noisier than the Roomba, it's better at sweeping debris into its mouth, with long, 20 arm brushes for hard floors and stiffer 6 arm brushes for deep carpets, although you have to swap them out yourself. The dust receptacle is about the size of a toothpaste tube and has a built-in brush for cleaning the filter when you empty it. You have to do it about once a week or once a day if you have pets. At number 3. Eufy X10 Pro Omni. I might declare the Eufy X10 Pro Omni a marriage saver. It's a device that takes away some of the daily chores and does them very well. It's relatively discreet with a smaller docking station than others I've tried. The station holds a large 2.5-liter bin bag and two tanks, one for clean water, one for dirty, so you don't have to clean them off yourself. It's incredibly easy to use. After downloading the, admittedly buggy, app, filling up the tank with clean water and clearing the floors of family detritus, I programmed it to go off on its maiden mapping run. Within about 15 minutes it had mapped out the whole of my downstairs, dividing it into rooms, meaning I could then choose which sections I wanted cleaning. On vacuum mode, the suction is extremely strong it boasts 8,000 pascals, way higher than the IMU, with clever combs that can sweep up pet hair. It also has a special edge cleaning mode, which involves the robot working its way in a straight line against the edge of the room. Its shape, more rectangular than most robot vacuums, allows it to really get into the corners of a room. Number 2 of my list. Roomba Combo J9 Plus Vacuum. Let's start with its looks. The Roomba Combo J9 Plus Robot Vacuum and Mop Base Station looks fantastic, with a ridged wood panel on the front door that looks like a high-tech piece of audio equipment. This might sound trivial, but it's not. Unlike regular vacuums and mops that you store in a cupboard, these devices need to be left out in a central location, near a router. But the latest Roomba is also a very capable cleaner. Its well-designed iRobot app walks you through an initial mapping run of your house, 
letting you set up individual rooms and room dividers as well as teaching you how to use the vacuum cleaner it's incredibly easy to use, even for the least technologically able. I did find that that mapping stage took longer than most other devices, but you only need to do it once. Having set it off on its first clean, I found that it cleverly switched between vacuuming and mopping as it went. It feels counterintuitive to a human cleaner, me, not to do one, then other, but this is certainly more effective. It also has excellent object recognition, navigating around socks and even tiny toys rather than trying to suck them up. And number 1. MURV L11 A Vacuum. A robot that sweeps, vacuums and mops is the dream, right? The Chinese-made IMU is not bad-looking and for a vacuum with integrated moping capabilities, very low profile. As with all robot vacuums, it first performs its mapping run basically gathering information on the layout, and any no-go areas that you set on the app. The mapping camera spins 6 times per second, and the internal algorithm works out the most effective and efficient way to clean your house, far better than me, then. Then, after a rest and recharge, it's ready for its first run, which is the sweeping stage. Next up is vacuuming or mopping, it can detect when it's on hard floor or carpets and switches between the two. The vacuum capability has 2700 Pascal suction power, which automatically adjusts depending on how much suction it thinks it needs, a V-shaped brush roller and a 300 milliliters dustbin, which only needs to be emptied, the manufacturers suggest, every 30 days. When it needs to switch to mopping function, it has a 250 milliliters water tank and a mop cloth holder. The electronically controlled water tank can also be adjusted through the app to control water usage for each individual room's atmosphere, for example, low water usage in the bedroom, medium in the living room and high in the kitchen. I did feel a bit nervous about the robot trundling over my expensive rugs with water in the tank any drops could spell disaster for my jute but it didn't leave a drop. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.